Welcome to a state of sight. I'm Isaac Porter, and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And today we have a very special episode. We're very happy to have Claire Hansen join us from Bristol to explain her experience as she recently had college and cost linking. And uh, you may have seen her on Twitter or seen her blog. We'll be able to post the link uh, after the show. And so, uh, Claire, welcome with us today. Thank you very much. Yeah, so um, we're very happy to have you, and um, if you could just ex please explain to our audience um, what it was like having keratoconus before you had the procedure. Were you having much trouble with the vision? Um, I think I'm quite lucky um, as a keratoconus sufferer because I'm still wearing my glasses. Um, people with the condition that, that further progress um, use contact lenses, so... I'm still at an earlier stage of the condition where I'm able to correct my vision with glasses. So, mm -hmm. and then um, uh, remind our viewers then uh, when exactly you had the procedure and uh, what that was like for you. Okay, um, I had the procedure back in um, basically with my six monthly checks in Bristol. Uh, my consultant had told me that my left eye had got. Um, progressively worse and cross-linking was an option so I had to do lots of research to make sort of give myself some security as to you know is this going to be okay is it going to make you know is it going to make a massive difference to my eyesight or you know right. ultimately is it going to stop the condition which is main aim um, uh, exactly and that's a lot what we um, are looking for for college and class linking is to help us uh, stop or slow the progression of keratoconus um, and for someone like you that sounds like a great candidate to uh, try and get in the earlier stages absolutely so uh, the treatment only took half an hour uh, the first 20 minutes um, they well I had abrasions made to my cornea to start with um, this was done with apparently well, what the surgeon called a, um, a, a nutmeg, a parmesan grater. To start off with, it was 20 minutes of having drops being put into my, onto my eye. Um, and I just went there and chatted to the nurses and it, it, there was no pain at that point. It was, it was all fine. Um, then it was followed by four minutes of um, having the UV light shining into the eye. It was all very direct and all sort of like lined up and quite close. It all felt quite close um, to my eye, but um, and my eye was clamped open at that point. I think the worst, that was the worst part of the treatment was having my eye clamped open. And once you were finished, you were happy to be finished? But, yeah, very happy. It was, I wasn't expecting it to be so quick. Um, and and at the end, all they did was just rinse my eye off, um, which was a bit, which was quite funny because it was a weird sensation, sort of lying there and letting somebody, you know, hose your eye down. Yeah. That's what it felt like. That's right, I had to get all the extra drug uh, off the eye once you were finished. And um, then, how was the recovery the first day? Um, um, very painful. I had I had the treatment done at um, at six o'clock in the evening, so. Mm -hmm. When I got home to Bristol, it was a couple of hours from the hospital in London, so by the time I got back to Bristol, I could start to feel a bit of pain building, but it wasn't too bad at that point. Um, I was taking the medication that um, they advised, which was, you know, your standard painkillers that you get over the counter, so you're not given anything to, because it's major, major pain. Um, mm -hmm. So... I, I did have some pain during the night, um, and I, I had local anaesthetic drops for that. Um, okay. and, and those, I have, I did put that in hourly, but only for the first sort of six hours. Mm -hmm. um, and then, I mean, my eyesight was, I would say, back to normal within three or four days. How long was the um, discomfort that you had? Uh, only over 12 hours. Okay. As somebody that wears glasses, I found it slightly peculiar having the contact lens bandage on my eye. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's where the discomfort was because it was a it was an unnatural feeling. Mm -hmm. Good. And then when did you have that removed? That was forty eight hours afterwards. Okay. So depending on healing, it could have I could have had to 
kept it on for longer, but it, it was it was healing well, so that was positive. Okay, very good. And then how have you been doing since then? Uh, absolutely fine. Um, I I get a little bit more light sensitivity with, with my left eye, mm -hmm. um, particularly with the sunlight, and especially at the moment, the sun's really low in the sky, so driving at the moment is, if it's really bright, I struggle. But um, apart from that, I think the first couple of weeks I may have experienced a little bit of hazing where I didn't feel like I could completely, I was getting a completely clear vision from my eye. Um, but apart from that, absolutely fine. You wouldn't, I wouldn't know that I've had anything different from my eye. Okay, that, that sounds excellent. And um, I'm sure that over uh, six months and a year, after the procedure, then uh, your surgeon will probably look in to monitor, make sure everything looks good, and then hopefully um, you can see a great success with it folding and um, stopping the progression of your teratoconus. I hope so. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, uh, like you probably know, we do not have FDA approval here for collagen cross in the United States. So, um, a lot of other countries are doing it. We will probably be the last here. You can maybe get it under um, just an investigational use or um, as part of a study, but it's not uh, widely available like you guys are fortunate to have. Yeah, we are very fortunate, definitely. Yeah, and uh, like you said, there's um, not a lot of information out about it, but it is becoming more and more information. I think uh, your experience is going to be very valuable to share with others uh, if they have any questions. Absolutely. I really hope that, you know, I'm part of a statistic that will mean that this is widely available and, you know, hopefully in the long term it could it could help many, many people that are diagnosed with teratoconus. Well, exactly. So, um, well, I think that um, that should about do it. I will be planning to share this video uh, with YouTube and uh, we can take any questions or comments there about collagen cross-linking or keratoconus, and uh, we'll also be um, sharing it across the web uh, through Twitter and other things. So I want to thank you again very much for joining us, and um, it didn't look like we took any questions today, but we can on the Internet later. Uh, any other comments before we go? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. So um, thanks for joining us, guys. We hope to see you again soon next time on a status site.